Colleen and I'm Jenna and today we're going to be showing you how to make a brownie trifle. Alright, there's going to be some ingredients you're going to need to make this trifle. You're going to need your brownie mix. You can get um, one box or one pouch of fudge brownie mix. Today we're using Betty Crocker. You're also going to need a 12 ounce container of Cool Whip topping and you're going to need a 3.9 ounce uh, box of your instant chocolate pudding mix. You're also going to need a bag of toffee chips, or you can use heat bars and just cu uh, cut them down into little pieces like we did. You're also going to need your mixing bowls. You're going to need one for your pudding mix. You're going to need one for the brown mix. You're going to need some sort of a trifle bowl. Uh, you can get any kind of glass bowl so that you can see all the different layers that we're going to have. It's going to be all layered up. You're also going to need your mixing utensils. We have a whisk, a spoon, and a knife to cut the brownies. And then of course you're also going to need your brownie pan, which is a 13 by 9 by 2 inch. Alright, so your first step in making a brownie trifle is going to be to make your brownies. So the first thing you want to do is dump your brownie mix into a bowl. Then, depending on what brownie mix you get, is going to depend on what you have to add. So once you have your brownies mixed, you're going to want to put them into your baking pan. Make sure it's greased if it says to. You don't want your brownies sticking to it. Um, so you're going to put it into the pan. Right, and then you're going to want to make sure that your oven has been preheated to whatever temperature it needs to be set at. These particular ones are 350 degrees. And you're going to pop them in there for however long it says. These are a half hour. And we'll wait for those to bake. to make the chocolate pudding and you're going to just make your chocolate pudding according to the package directions so you're going to need your chocolate pudding mix and go ahead and pour that in the bowl and you're going to mix that with two cups of milk which is what our package directions call for and then you're going to go ahead and whisk that up Now that we have our brownies baked and our chocolate pudding mix set, next step is to cut up the brownies. So we're going to go ahead and cut these up into, you can either crumble them or cut them into small pieces. Alright, so now that you've cut up all of your brownies, now you can start actually making your trifle. So what you want to do is you want to take about half your brownies and you want to layer them in the bottom of your trifle. Now, depending on the size of your bowl, it's going to depend on how much you put in, but you kind of want to cover the bottom of it pretty well. That way there's some substance on the bottom. Alright, so then the next thing you want to do is then you want to layer your chocolate pudding that is set already, and you want to layer that on top of the brownie. You're going to use about half of that too. You'll get it in the bowl and then you kind of spread it around on top of the brownies. Once you have that, what you're going to do next is you're going to take your toffee chips and you're going to put a layer of that on top of your brownie and your chocolate pudding. How about you're going to use about half of the toffee chips as well. The last layer that you're going to make before we start relayering again is the layer of whipped topping. You're going to use about half of that as well and just kind of put it and spread it around right on top. Remember we crumbled the, the brownie to make it a little bit easier to handle. And then just go ahead and spread that around. You can use a spoon or a spatula. And just cover that all up. And again, it's your preference as to how much you use. But we like toffee, so we're going to go ahead and use what we have. And then to finish off your trifle, you're just going to go ahead and garnish with some more of your toffee chips. Or if you have chocolate curls or any type of chocolate that you want to make it pretty on top. And after that is all complete, 
you have your brownie trifle. So what you want to do now, you can't unfortunately dig straight into it, even though it looks so good and you want to. It's got to go in the fridge and chill for at least eight hours.